What's going on here then? Uh, the captain has demoted me to toilet cleaning duties. <laughs> but what he didn't know that I'm using his toothbrush to clean. <laughs> it's working really well. <laughs> As I said, living the dream. It's like 100 degrees in here. I may just put the shower straight on me. Getting ready for haul out is fun. Highly recommend. <laughs> well, someone better say it. This is not what I signed up for. Somehow the captain has been drafted in to fulfill extra housekeeping capacity. Without warning, moment's notice. It's not how you run a happy ship. Well, housekeeping is really living the dream this week. I am shutting down the boat for our haul out. We hear that the humidity is going to be sky high and that pretty much everything is going to have mold on it. I'm vacuum packing anything I can and I'm going to be doing a bleach and vinegar wash of all surfaces. Can't wait for this to be over, to be honest. I seriously think that we need to use out this haul out as an exercise to declutter. I mean, we've got so much stuff, it's unbelievable. Next, the sails came down so we could fold them and store them safely down below, reducing our windage for hurricane season. Yeah, finally, he's looking busy. See, I'm working. <laughs> so today's job is removing anything on the boat, on the deck, that can create windage. We're going to be storing Bohemia in Puerto Vallarta on hard. And it's a bit of a hurricane zone here, so we want to reuse all of the windage as possible. We've also wrapped all the plastic bits and the lights uh, in tin foil to protect from the excessive sunshine. How are you protecting yourself from the excessive sunshine? By going to England. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> Can't argue with that. <laughs> that shut him up, didn't it? I only now just realised just how much work this Bimini and this Dodger were doing. We're going to fry in the next few days before we go home. Maybe this should have been left to last. Bohemia's looking very naked right now. Well, water tank's filled. She's ready for the haul out. It's quite an emotional day for us, really. It's been so long since we last hauled out, since California. It's been even longer since we spent a night off the boat. This is it. We're heading to the boatyard, haul Bohemia out and give her the well-deserved beauty treatment. Full week at the salon this time. She's a dirty girl. The boat looks really weird. We stripped everything down. We have no sails, we have no bimini, no dodger. So it's just gonna be a motor job. It's not too far, it's about an hour away. Okay, the newly serviced engine is purring like a cat as planned. Just jinxed it. Let's go. This is what we're trying to fix. The rudder takes two hands right now uh, to move the wheel. But when we're finished, hopefully, single finger job this is it. Goodbye, Paradise Village, and hello to Boatyard. Time to lift the old girl out and give her some attention and a bit of TLC. And this is the first time we've hauled out since. Uh, two and a half years ago back in California before we left for cruising. Uh, hopefully we're praying to all our gods right now that this is going to be an easy one. Uh, the main jobs we have to do are changing the rudder bearing, uh, new bottom paint and a new depth sounder. Finally we should have some depth information when we're sailing. We're giving ourselves just over a week to get all the jobs done. Um, but as with every haul out, it's always a bit nerve wracking seeing your home suspended 20 feet in the air uh, in a set of hydraulic slings. So we'll see how it goes.
You may remember the captain declaring an early victory on his engine service. Okay, the newly serviced engine is purring like a cat as planned. Just jinxed it. Well, this isn't ideal. I noticed that we had a uh, sump under the engine full of seawater, which is coming from somewhere. I can only think the uh, the shaft seal must have leaked. So, uh, something else to investigate. The list never ends. Strange feeling being lifted with the boat. Little Bohemia has gone up in the world. There she goes. Our little home out of the water. Okay, the underwater housekeeping could have done better, I have to admit that. Three years old paint, one coat, so not bad. Well, now we know why we weren't going anywhere on the way over here. Uh, Bohemia has some really, really hard growth and lots of it. Uh, it's been a few months uh, since we had the bottom clean because we knew we were going to haul out and uh, now we're paying the price. Oh dear, I had to call for reinforcements. Now even the travel lift operator is helping out. I've never been so embarrassed about bottom. Well, she scrubbed up. I don't want to say nicely, but she scrubbed up. She's definitely ready for a, a bit of a TLC down below. We are really happy with our Petite Trinidad hard bottom paint. Uh, we meet a lot of people, uh, other cruisers who are using ablative paint, but this has worked really well for us. Uh, we had it done two and a half years ago in San Francisco. One coat everywhere and uh, an extra coat just around the, the waterline. And uh, it's only now just starting to wear through. This is the coat underneath these little gray spots. So uh, yeah, it's really done as well. Uh, we scrub the bottom once a month uh, just to get rid of any soft growth. And really only the last couple of months have we started to get loads of barnacles. So uh, the clues were there. And this is the problem we are trying to fix. So our rudder is super stiff. It should really just glide around right now without any force, uh, but it's always needed just a ton of force, two hands on the wheel to actually steer it. So, you know, that puts a lot of load, a lot of wear on the autopilot and the steering. So hopefully this time around, to be feather light single finger job. Part one of the rudder removal, nearly done. I gotta do everything blind here, behind my head, just while stretching as much as I can into this darkness. I gotta balance as hard as I can everything here and try my hardest not to drop a nut or a washer uh, down to Hades below me. Oh, I lost it. Okay. Oh, oh. Careful, careful, careful. First tool lost to Hades. But luckily, it's a magnetic one. It's my lucky day today. No boat owner should be without one of these. End of day one, big problems already. We spent the last year carrying this spare rudder bearing uh, upper and lower around with us, thinking next time we haul out, we'll just swap it over. Well, let that be a lesson to us. You're not carrying a spare until you install it and see that it's the right fit. And this one, it's clearly not the right fit. So, 
Benito sent us the wrong bits. Um, they must have changed the design of the rudder at some point. Uh, we gave them the whole number, so I think it's a mess up on their side, so we're gonna have to send these back. Um, the more important problem though, is that it's gonna take so long to source any alternatives down here, and uh, we just need to get this fixed. So we're gonna use the local guy, he's got a great reputation uh, and a great machine shop uh, to make us some new bearings. So uh, hopefully tomorrow we'll have some answers, but today all we've got is problems. Well, this is a real adventure. Yes, why not? <laughs> <laughs> Meet my friend Alvaro. <laughs> he is gonna be our savior uh, for Bohemia's rudder and its rudder bearing problem. So we're off to his workshop where he's gonna make a lot of magic happen and uh, hopefully save the day. <laughs> no pressure. Yeah, no pressure. <laughs> so give us a quick tour of the workshop. Okay. <laughs> a milling machine, huh? Yeah, Alvaro's busy workshop performs many marine fabrication and drivetrain projects. We were impressed by the scale of the operation. Uh, this what is this? this I have no idea. It's to strip the prop shaft. Ah, oh, wow, okay. I want the prop shaft to there and I move this. And we turn the prop shaft. I'm jealous. If only we yeah. had room for that on our boat, <laughs> I would be a happy man. Leslie! Hola Leslie, Hola, mucho gusto. Leslie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, perfecto. Okay, well hopefully Alvaro to the rescue. There's a, a little bit of beard stroking going on. Um, and a few fun calls being made, but hopefully they'll be able to do something that will sort this out. Main problem right now is this surface here uh, on the rudder shaft is super worn and really uneven. Uh, the rudder is too big, unfortunately, to fit in the enormous lane that Alvaro has. So uh, we'll see if there's a potential plan B. Luckily, plan B worked a charm and Alvaro made a new retaining collar and fed the lower bearing surface. Oh, have we caught you on your break? <laughs> Day three of the boatyard. Yay! Living the dream. And today, apparently, my job is to be greasing up. Where am I greasing? Mm, some <laughs> Where am I? No. <laughs> I'm greasing up sea cocks. When you see right, you gotta grease them. <laughs> oh, you're gonna make this up. Oh. But I need to get trained. <laughs> apparently, I need to be shown how. <laughs> It's a skill <laughs> that currently I don't possess. <laughs> so it's going to be 10 minutes, quick training, and then we've got seven sea cocks to grease. First mate is back in paradise already and he thought he left. <laughs> See, I put it very clearly on the first mate application process, right there on the form. Must be able to grease a sea cock. <laughs> but no, apparently he needs training. You see, even for the most mundane boatyard projects, at least we can thank all the sailors that have come before us and given everything amusing names. Well, the first mate's main job is greasing the seacocks, of course, but in order to grease the seacocks, he's got to find the nipples. The <laughs> you haven't had your training yet. You see, the grease goes in through the nipples. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> Are we, are we in Amsterdam or something? <laughs> well, 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 welcome to Puerto Vallarta. <laughs> and we haven't even gone downtown yet. <laughs> I'm doing the last wipe vinegar wash of the boat. And then we are all done and we can shut this down. Stinks of vinegar in here. 
I'm definitely considering becoming the FIFO partner. You know, fly in, fly out, that sort of thing. When all of this is done, see you in Barbados. You missed a spot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm dreading that we're gonna come back and we're gonna be covered with mold. The humidity is gonna be like 400%. Sweating already. Oh, in I go. <laughs> <laughs> At least it'll keep you fresh. Yeah. What's Peter's deodorant nowadays? Why do we nigga? It's that musty grape smell. Okay. Despite some confusion over the seacocks, we managed a quick turnaround. Vacuum bagging anything that could get mouldy, putting out some chemical dehumidifiers, and hoping for the best. Well, goodbye, Bohemia. Until September. Stay safe. Well, this is it. Bohemia and Peter are getting their final shower in Mexico before we leave her for three months until the end of hurricane season. It'll be the longest time we've been off Bohemia, uh, really, since we bought her. Uh, we were working out the other day and we haven't actually had a single night off of the boat. Uh, since we left from San Francisco uh, two and a half years ago. So uh, quite exciting, we're looking forward to, to going back and seeing friends and family. Uh, also a little bit nerve-wracking uh, because we're leaving her here uh, in a hurricane zone uh, throughout hurricane season. But uh, Puerto Vallarta has got an excellent record, a good track record for uh, not getting any bad storms. And uh, long may it continue. We've done everything we possibly can to shut her down uh, and uh, prepare her for the rainy season. So hopefully no leaks, no mold, and no nasty surprises when we would get back. If you are enjoying our episodes and would like to buy us a drink, then please head over to www.patreon.com forward slash sailing bohemia where you'll find a small menu of our favorite cocktails to choose from. Couple to the port side. I like my shake and not stirred. Special thanks in this episode go to all of our patrons for keeping Bohemia's liquor locker brimming with creativity. Thank you so much, and here's to you all. Champagne for everyone. <laughs> Take that, the French, we don't need you. If you enjoyed this episode, then please don't forget to tell YouTube all about it by commenting, liking, and sharing. See you next time.